What have we got down here? Then? Ah, here he is, rescue chef Danny Bull. Here's your New York dish. Boom, 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 gotta get get. Boom, 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 gotta get get. Boom, 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 gotta get get. Boom, 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 that boom, boom, boom. Danny that Boom, the Food Network's rescue chef, is on call for every food disaster. If you have a problem in the kitchen, then Chef Danny Boom is your man. New TV chef coming to the rescue. I am the renaissance man of the Food Network. I'm full of secrets. Smack it and peel it into the pan. Full of handy hints and tips. Look at that. Basically taking the chef's secrets right, and give them to the home cook. Can you name it, I can do it. A jack of all trades, hockey player turned model turned top-notch chef. But I uncovered one more non-culinary credit on his resume. Oh, I was a manny in the Swiss Alps. Shut up. Yeah. It was his manny job in Switzerland that turned him onto cooking. You were a manny, a male nanny. Yeah, he's male so he's nanny. He's great with kids, ladies. <laughs> he's got great moves. You know, he's not only a, uh, a chef, he's a hockey player. Is that right? A hockey player. I can tell from your muscles. They play a lighter version of, uh, of hockey in England, don't they? Oh, yes. We do say excuse me and please. For Danny's recipe, check out our website, todayshow.com. We'll be back in a moment. I want to check it. Danny's backstage. He can't hear anything that's going on because he has music blasting in his hey, headphones. Danny, Danny really having a ball back there. <laughs> Danny Boom Boom. Oh, Danny Boom Boom. Danny Boom Boom. Boom 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 Boom. He's Danny Boom. So, Danny, it's been more than a year since the BP oil spill. Yep. What's the general mood like down there? I tell you, you're talking about the most resilient people you've ever met, okay? They've been knocked down and they're back, okay? Yep. But it's yep. us. It's about the perception. We've got to get back buying Gulf Shrimp, and we've got to get back down there for the tourism. It's really important. I couldn't agree with you more. But how does somebody know that the shrimp that he or she is buying at the local supermarket, at the local fish store, is safe? Well, we're talking about the most tested waters in America right now. And if you go to thechew.com, there's a website link to gulfsource.org. Yep. That will tell you all the information about the testing, the locations, and the results of all your seafood. So it's basically about the consumers having confidence again in the area and the food. Right. I think we should support our country. And Definitely. Our yes, yes. Exactly. yes. <laughs> hey ye, hey ye. The Honourable King Richard doth proclaim, why eat a wing that hails from the fair land of Buffalo when the drumstick of the fair turkey will fill thee with pleasure? Huzzah! I'm here in Calvin, Massachusetts at King Richard's Fair, one of the world's biggest renaissance fairs. We've got knights, we've got jousting, we've got sword fights, we've got kings, we've got queens, we've got wenches. Wait till you see the food. This is where I used to come on holidays as a kid. It's what the English seaside's about. This is where I built my first sandcastle. No matter what the weather, it's just a fabulous, fabulous place. Yeah, it's a bit tacky. That's what it's all about, isn't it?